action hero, the international sex symbol and death-defying wonder kid. Go! Ten Australian women are about to battle it out to see if they can match it with the tenacious Lara Croft. It won't be easy, there'll be pain, disappointment, and they'll all be pushed to their mental and physical limits. These girls will go to any lengths to win. But in the end, there can be only one real-life Lara Croft. Her prize? A brand new Jeep Wrangler and feature in their very own FHM photo shoot. Who will become the FHM Lara Croft legend? Which Aussie girl has got what it takes? Lara Croft could not yes. be that! <laughs> Helping me judge which one will become the next Lara Croft is Fox Footy's very own Tiffany Cherry. I love the outdoors and give me an adventure any day. Mm, you're a Buster. Adventure girl. <laughs> you better believe it's sunny. As well as FHM regular and style queen Simone Starr. Well, I've already been a cover girl, so I'm here to show them how to do it. My name's Cameron Knight. Now I have no previous expertise in this area. I'm just here for the perv. Yeah. My name's Lara. I mean Lisa Shea. It all started in FHM. The magazine issued a call to arms for a girl with the right stuff to become the real-life Lara Croft legend. There you go, that's it. It's like a strain of muscle now. Hundreds responded from right around the country, eager to prove they have what it takes to be as good as the great one. FHM shoot, every girl wants to do that, right? It'd be so much fun, I could rub it in my ex-boyfriend's face. <laughs> But after a rigorous audition process where they revealed their beauty brains and brawn, only ten survived. I have no problem photo shoots being behind the camera in front of people. And the challenges set before them will test their adventure skills, their driving skills, their swimming skills, their mental stamina. She can't do it. I have no mental stamina whatsoever. <laughs> and they'll even get to shoot a fully automatic machine gun. Now, if that's not hot, I don't know what is, folks. Over the coming days, these girls will face five gruelling, gut-wrenching challenges. Points will be awarded to the winner of each challenge, plus there'll be Lara bonus points handed out for grace and style under pressure. In other words, sweat and sex appeal. But not only will these girls fight each other for the ultimate prize, they'll also live together at the luxury Blue Mountains Hideaway just outside of Sydney. Those who crack under pressure will be eliminated along the way. The girl with the most points wins. She will become Australia's real-life Lara Croft. Welcome, ladies. No time to mess around. Unpack your things. You've got 15 minutes to meet me back here before your first challenge. You'll be getting into one of these. Unfortunately, I can't be present while that's happening. Curses! But your first challenge will be a photo shoot to see who really fits the part as Lara Croft and you'll be judged. So, chop chop, let's go! Good luck! Before they get hot and sweaty, the girls' first challenge is to dress, pose and do their thing, just like Miss Croft. The Lara look is vital if these girls want to win this competition, and so are the early points. And speaking of vitals, Lara's are 34D, 24, 35. I couldn't think of a better background setup for this competition. I've lived on a ranch for 21 years. I'm used to riding dirt bikes, riding horses, fixing fences, getting out there bushwalking, putting up my hair, no makeup on, shorts, just getting into it and challenging myself physically every day. So I love being out in the wilderness. I do everything Lara Croft does. My nickname's Lady Croft. <laughs> and so I'd... what's going to make me stand out from the rest is um, my ability to do all the physical side, but also I think it's the classiness and sassiness that Lara Croft has. She's um, very confident and she doesn't let every man have her. I feel good knowing that I could make it this far into the final ten. I feel a little bit intimidated by some of the other girls. They're so athletic and what they've been telling us about what they do and 
teamwork and stuff like that. I'm a bit loud and a bit crazy, and I'm prepared to do a lot of just lunatic things and throw myself off cliffs to ropes and whatnot, so <laughs> hopefully that'll put me above the rest. My personal opinion is that Lara Croft is very down-to-earth, fun-loving sort of girl. She's stylish and classy, but at the same time she knows how to have fun. And I think, you know, you need to be able to perform to your physical potential in the activities, but also have fun with the other girls and, and be down-to-earth and a, a little bit classy at the same time. <laughs> The other girls are fantastic. Normal competitions, they're not, you don't find that you get along with a lot of the other girls. Tits and ass. Midsection in, bust out, bum out. But this time they're all a lot like, we're all the same, we're all like each other, so we're just getting on like a house on fire, it's great. The qualities that I think that I can bring to this competition that's going to make me stand out is I'm really determined and enthusiastic. I just broke my arm four weeks ago, but I'm still here willing to give it a go and try my hardest. I love everything that Laura does. So abseiling, diving, swimming, flying planes, scuba diving, whatever it is, whatever situation, I'm always up for the challenge. Qualities I have that will separate me from the other girls would probably be I'm intelligent and I know I won't be good at some of the challenges that we have to do, but I'm just gonna go for it. I'm definitely here to win it, but out of it all, it's a great experience. I've been having meeting lovely girls, and yeah, it's been really good. These girls are up for it. Now it's time for the judges to get down to business. Okay, boys and girls, let's check out who has the goods. What do we think of her? She can hold a gun. That power. I just, you know what? She's that's, very sexy. That's it. Let's she's not actually, even worry about looking yeah, at the rest of yeah. them. <laughs> well, she's got a great look. Yeah. Okay, next one. She's got really lovely eyes. Yes, she does, actually. The eyes are really piercing. Yeah. Next one. Mm. That is good. That's how you hold a gun. Oh, yeah, she knows you know how to I mean? hold a gun. That's I like the powder. Totally, thing. she's pouty ass. And she's got that kind of, um, you know, that bond sort of thing. Okay. That's, that's attitude to me. No hair out of place. Yeah, it's good. All right, okay. sold. No worries. My goodness, these girls sure look the part. Now it's time to decide the winner of challenge one. Which one of these girls has the Lara look that will put them into the early lead and a step closer to their very own Jeep Wrangler and FHM photo shoot? As we said to you earlier, we were handing out Lara points to the girl that we judged to be the most stylish during today's challenge. And the winner is Simone. In first place with five points, we have Lisa Shea. Well done, Lisa. And in second place, with four points, Ali. And in third place, with three points, Claudia. So that means the rest of you, you don't miss out. Chloe, Anya, Flavia, Lisa Marie, Lauren, Evelyn and Tammy, you each receive one point. So at the end of the first challenge, we have Lisa Shea on five points, Ali on four and Claudia on three, with all the other girls on one point. But there are still four challenges to go and three eliminations. This is anyone's game. Next, our ten girls get down and dirty in a climbing competition that could be the toughest challenge of their lives. They all want to win the FHM Lara Croft Challenge, but there can be only one winner. Who will that be? Who can last the distance? Ten eager girls are facing off in the FHM Lara Croft Challenge. Already there are clear leaders. Lisa Shea on five points, Ali on four, and Claudia on three. Lara's known for her amazing ability to climb, jump, and swing into action at the drop of a hat. Now it's time to see if our girls can match it with her. The second challenge is tough. 
It's a high ropes course worthy of the elite SAS. It should only take them 10 minutes to complete, but it's not going to be easy with some sections 20 metres above the ground. On standby are our safety guys, who may get called into action soon enough. It's a time trial, so the slowest four girls with the least Lara bonus points will be eliminated. It's do or die time. OK, girls, you've probably gathered that you'll be climbing this high-tension wire course. You'll be going across that, and you will be timed on this, and you'll be judged on your time as well. Now, Lara could do it. Can you? Remember, Lara would do this with grace and with style. So no flapping your arms around in the air. You've got to be cool under pressure. Lara, if she were to do this challenge, she'd probably kick ass, but what she would be thinking about would probably be just to concentrate. She knows her stuff, so just really concentration and being confident about it. First up is Ali. OK, Ali, you set? Yeah. Go. Unclipping. Nice one. Good Not work. Well done. Well, awesome. well, no hands. That was great. Three minutes 32 there, Ali. Well done. Oh, nice work. <laughs> Run to oh, Woo! Upper body. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Um, <laughs> 10 minutes 41. Well done. Oh my god. Well done. You did really, really well. Uh, a bit nervous, but not really. Confident. We'll see how the other girls go. You're an animal. You ready? Set. Go. <laughs> I'm clipping. Clipping. You've got to really think You've, this one through. You That's got plenty it. of time. Well done. No swearing. Oh, I am the dragon so uncle. That's not only cool, it's sexy. Well you have nailed that. <laughs> Chloe's on 5 minutes 36. That's her fastest time so far. She's in the lead. I'm feeling so Lara Croft. So Lara Croft. Come on, Claudia. Clipping. Remember, you're being timed as well. Her height at this point in time is uh, probably a disadvantage. Keep your elbows close in. Pull them in. Oh! <laughs> okay. Claudia, right. just outside the front runners on seven minutes fifty seconds. Confidence is half the half the game. If you're confident, you can do it. Go. She's already got my uh, my tip of the star points yeah. with the knife I just like stuck the knife. in there around the her leg. No, Flavia. I do like the knife. The Flavia. knife has a move. You're going well, Flavia. Come on. Okay, don't lose your composure. Flavia, 7 minutes 41, now in second place behind Chloe. Hot. I think the main thing is to focus while you're doing it and stay up there. Don't fall and do it gracefully. OK, Lisa, show you ready. I'm ready. Let's you're go. Hot. Go. Time to beat 5.36 and counting. Just, just take a breath and think about it, OK? Just Clip think in. about it. Oh, you're okay. All the way to the end. Come on. You've got the tyres ahead of you. Take a breath. All the way with Lisa Shea. Lisa Shea well outside of placing on 14 minutes, 12 seconds. Just to get a height. Yeah, I need to hold on to something, but there's a few up there where you can't hold on to anything, so we'll see. Let go of the tree. Let go of the tree. Uh. We hope Anya scores high in the Lara bonus points because her fear of heights has dropped her right out of the race at this point. Nearly there, nearly there, not nearly there. 40 minutes later and our slowest girl, Anya, finally comes back to earth. I need a full body massage. And Tammy, you're a rock climber, mate. Yep. So you got all the experience necessary to get this done in like four minutes? Hope so. All right. Go, Tammy. Come on, come on, come on. All the way. Thank you, Tammy. I like a style already. I love heights. I love that feeling when you want to be sick. <laughs> I love that feeling, that adrenaline rush of you sort of knowing that there's not much between you and the ground. Just that feeling is awesome. Well done. Now you're talking. Five minutes, ten. <laughs> Tammy failing to break from the pack with a mid-ranking score of 8 minutes 45. Oh, my adrenaline's already rushing. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get myself up there. 
But yeah, I hope not to make an ass of myself. <laughs> Evelyn, set, go. Come on, Evelyn. Stars have been done. Stars have been done. Evelyn. That's it. Uh, Evelyn. Wick, 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 whack. Look at this. Look at the balance. Far out. Ooh. The balance is good. Very good. She's a renegade, and I love it. Down on the road. This is oh, going to be tight. Well done. Ugh. Time check, 4 like minutes it. 20. This is going to be tight. It's she excited me, way. that's for sure. Right? Yeah, and the grunt. Well done. She manoeuvred that really, really well. That was fantastic. Ugh. Gracefully, gracefully well done. <laughs> Evelyn powering into third place on 7 minutes 45. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Just sucking myself up, looking at the course. It looks pretty, pretty frightening, but I should be fine. Yeah. Go. Focus, focus, focus. She's got the look, definitely. The words are upset. Lauren's just oh, overtaken oh, Flavia oh, and oh, Evelyn's oh, time at the midway she? point, but she is still well behind Chloe's blistering pace. <laughs> right now, we have Chloe still leading the pack on five minutes thirty-six, with Flavia and Evelyn nice and close behind. I'm clipping. Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! Not very elegant, but oh well. Do you want to know your time? Yeah. Five minutes 31, you cracked it. You got the best Sorry. time. Well done. Well done. Lisa, Marie, your elbow. Is it going to be a hindrance? No, it's not. I'm tough. I'm going to get through it. No pain, no gain. Go. Yeah, the Lara points have been just a little bit lacking. Yeah, the mind. Grace Poison style hasn't really been there, has it? Very well. She's really fallen there now. She's alive. She needs. Oh, oh my knee's dislocated. My knee's dislocated. We didn't hear any screaming, nothing, just sitting there, and okay, we knew it was her knee. I mean, if my knee popped out of place and back into place while hanging and sitting on a rope, I'm not quite sure if I would be as calm as she was. You have to let the rope through little by little so she's lowered down. She said it normally dislocates, but it's never been that dislocated before, so I think. She said she was a little bit shocked, but she did a really good job not to yell. Is that lean on the stitching this one? Yeah. Do you want to lean? Rush a bit. All right. Well, Lisa Marie, it uh, doesn't look too good, does it? No, it doesn't. Yeah. A little bit more shock. That was so. insane. It just popped back in by itself. It looked kind of gross. <laughs> Finishing first is one thing, but we're also here to decide who looks the part by awarding the critical Lara bonus points. And the girls with the four lowest scores, they'll get sent home. That's a good shot. Mm, good shot. She looks yeah. great there. Oh, definitely yeah. a great shot Bubble there. Work. Very photographic. Yeah. See, that's yeah. when she went no hands. That's yeah, right. That's she did really that well. That is really yeah, good. Yeah, good Lara points yeah. on that one. She was a real dark horse, wasn't she? Yeah, she was. Yeah. Okay, I think it's pretty obvious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah made her decision. Let's go. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Well, girls, what an incredible day. How do you feel? Challenged. What, yeah. a, what a challenging day. Very rewarding as well, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, we have Exhausting. our results. We have our results here. We have our top three based on the Lara points from yesterday's shoot, as well as your Lara points from today and your time trial results. In third place, we have Flavia. In second place, we have <laughs> Chloe. Hi, Chloe. And in first butt kicking place, Woo! we have Lauren. Yeah! Congratulations. You guys go on to fight another day. Lisa Marie, it's quite obvious why you didn't get it through. Unfortunately, because of your injury. You didn't finish the course, and that was a component that we really had to show for the Lara Croft Challenge. Anya, just too slow. Tammy, you're a little bit slow, and your style was just a little bit out. Unfortunately, you had to go. We had to pick four, and you're one of them. Claudia, it was between you and one of the other girls, and unfortunately, we had to pick four to go, and you're the last one. So it's tight. You're on your way home. So tight, though. It was tight. It's tighter than the outfit you've got on. You can make your way into the Jeep. And thanks for taking part in the Lara Croft Challenge. All the best. Well done. Good on you. The yellow numbers are the event scores. 
But what really counts are the green numbers. They're the total competition points so far and what the elimination is judged on. Lauren blitzed the competition to win the second challenge. Flavia, Chloe and Evelyn are just behind, all running equal second on 17 points and ready to slam Lauren into the dust in the next challenge. Also through is Lisa Shea. Gone, however, are Claudia, Tammy and Anya. And it's a sad farewell also to Lisa Marie, whose dislocated knee bought her a ticket home. It would have been good. I'd love a Jeep, but I'll just buy one. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? I'm not entirely sure. I thought Flavia and I were sort of on the same level. We seemed to sort of, we did about the same time and had the same sort of style, allegedly. I'm happy with all the girls that got through, so they're all great chicks. Four girls are out, six remain. Next, our Lara wannabes will be racing four-wheel drive jeeps, shooting big guns and leaping off cliffs higher than a five-storey building. What could be better? All in the search for the FHM Lara Croft legend. Who will it be? Four girls are out, six remain. Next, our Lara wannabes will be racing four-wheel drive jeeps, letting off rounds and leaping off cliffs higher than a five-storey building. What could be better? All to see which girl has got what it takes to be the FHM Lara Croft legend. Who will that be? It's 6am and someone has failed to turn up for breakfast. I really, really did sleep in. I was exhausted after yesterday. Like, um, because I was just so, it was just so hectic. I was just exhausted. It was just such a long day. Once I get to eat and finish getting ready and hopefully I'm not late, I'm really excited. Yeah, I've come as far as I expected to come, so. At the moment, I don't know if how my confidence levels are, but yeah, I think everyone's got equal opportunity at the moment, so see how it goes. You know, if I do any better, then that'll be fantastic. They say that girls can't read maps. Well, surely Lara Croft can. Today we go deep into the bush and the girls put the jeeps through hell. Plus, they'll be firing a real fully automatic machine gun. First challenge for the girls, start the engine and foot down. The next challenge is to get through this sandy mess. It's all about momentum. The car's going to be rocking everywhere and they've just got to shoot straight through. By this part of the challenge, the girls' hearts will be racing. Their blood will be pumping, but it's all about caution. They'll have to give this puppy a wide berth. There's only one way to get through this, foot down. And now the finale. It's been all about beauty and brawn so far, and now it's time to use their brains. This is a pretend minefield. The girls have to get this treasure chest using that rope without treading within this area, because it's dangerous. Once they get the treasure, the clock stops. <laughs> to make it even trickier, we've randomly split the girls into two teams. Now, instead of fighting each other, they all have to work together. In the red jeep team are Chloe, Evelyn and Flavia. In the silver jeep team are Ali, Lauren and Lisa Shea. Each member of the winning team gets five points. This jeep race is a rigorous charge over 500 metres of challenging four-wheel drive obstacles. Engines ready! Driver ready! Let's go! <laughs> now let's see how the silver team goes. <laughs> They've got to keep their speed up across that loose sand, otherwise they will get bogged. That's it. That's it. Just take the real estate. <laughs> Ali's driven through the water obstacle, no sweat. Go, 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 go. It's a time trial, so they have to keep the pace up. Lauren's starting to stress. Lauren's navigating is getting the team through the challenge. Where do I stop? Stop! 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 They've completed the jeep race, but now it's time yeah. for the minefield Run, test. Lace. Stop! Now. Yeah. Lisa Shea kicks into gear. 
grabbing the rope they'll need to retrieve the treasure. Right. Right. I need to get around the other side. Sinking this one. Step in the field. Go and step in the minefield. Using your brains very well. No, no. Wait, don't move. Stop, stop. Think about this, girls. Just hold it. If you drag it, 20 second penalty. So they can't drag it. Got to get it off the ground. Is that right, Tiff? Yep. Lisa Shea's in top form now. Shea's got to... Ah, smart girls. Very... Stop, stop, stop. Look at the concentration on her face. Let the rope go, babe. Remember, yeah. once they've lifted it up, they can't let the treasure box touch the ground. If they do, they'll lose points. Girls, the clock's ticking. 3.40. Remember, you've got to try That's and do this as quickly good. as possible. Impressive work here. Oh, wrap it around one. No, we got it. Don't drop it, girls. Shut up! Oh, run! Pick it up, pick it up. Girls, keep going. Well done. Here we go. Pick it up, pick it up. Stops. Well done. And they've well retrieved done, the treasure. The tomb <laughs> has been raided. Six minutes, 27. <laughs> the back seat was really good. It was my job to pump the team up and really keep the team spirit going, make sure everyone was getting along well and really focusing. And picking up the Buddha and getting open the treasure chest was fantastic. Next up, it's Chloe, Flavia and Evelyn in the red team to race against the clock. Six minutes, 27 the time to beat. Engines ready! Driver Let's go, Red Team! Let's go! Woo! Woo! Chloe is tearing into the course. Right here, right here. Right, right, right. Keep going, straight, straight, straight. Straight, straight. Flavi is navigating this spot on. That's it, run the corner, run the corner. That's it, around there, you're gonna turn into the water. Get ready to turn, ready? That's it, down here, down here. Go, go, straight. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. If Chloe can keep her Jeep on the track, this could be a record time. Straight, girl, straight, straight, straight. Chloe's smashing through all the obstacles to put the girls in first place. They're thinking through the challenge now. You cannot step foot in the minefield and you cannot drop or drag the treasure box. Girls. These girls went to brownies or girl guides. What's going on here? This is not What we're going to do is pull this rope all the way around. Great leadership skills from Chloe and Flavia. That's very good tactic. Oh, oh. How impressive is that? I don't know. No dragging, girls. No, 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 no. Drag it. No, no, no. Bit of confusion here. Yeah, a bit of confusion. The other girls were right in, weren't they? They just started go. going okay. straight at it. Valuable, valuable time, time girls. Nearly at four and a half He's minutes. He's still in front, but... Oh, it's off the air! And out! Oh, she's falling! You gotta lift the leg. Oh, they're definitely... Which way is open? This side, this side. Chloe's crazy driving risk for the lives, well-being and sanity of the two other girls in her team. But she got an almost unbelievable score for them with the red team now on five minutes. 39 seconds. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well driving. I thought you were going to kill yourselves before you got here. The points for the Jeep race are set, with Flavia, Chloe and Evelyn charging ahead. But there's still one more challenge before the next elimination. That's when the big guns come out to play. The FHM Lara Croft Challenge has seen Australia's toughest young women pose, leap, climb and drive their way to the crown. So far, six have survived. But the losers of the next challenge, a time trial running race with real guns shooting blanks, will face the firing squad. The girls have got a pretty rigorous challenge set before them. They have to race around the dam behind us, come to this table, compose themselves, grab a gun, 
fire off around, put the gun down, race back around the dam and through the finish line. The first girl to go through the finish line wins. Now, Lara Croft has got plenty more weapons than this. This is just a cheeky taste. Simone, you're going to be judging style points on this event, so why don't you show us how it's done? All right, girls, it's all about looking good and having a lot of control. I live on a farm, but I've never shot a gun. I've always wanted to, so it's a perfect opportunity. I'm going to grasp it and really get the adrenaline pumping. It's going to be fantastic. I am feeling actually pretty good, as long as we don't have to shoot animals. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> Whoever comes first in this individual test of endurance and weapons handling will win maximum points. A big help in the upcoming elimination. Go! The first three girls to race in this individual challenge are Ali, Lauren and Lisa Shea. Lauren has broken away from the pack early. That thick sand is not the easiest surface to run on, especially in those boots. This course is soft sand and mud for all 100 metres. Not easy by a long shot. Lauren's out front. Ali's finding that dirt wall a real problem. Their heart rate is up from the run, but they have to stay calm if they want to fire these weapons properly. Oh, Lauren's already out in the lead. That's fantastic. All of these weapons are military grade. Lauren's first to the shooting table. It's hot. Oh, it's tight. She's good. That's Ali on the pump action shotgun. Lisa Shea's firing the bullpup gun. The girls must be exhausted by now. Uh, Lauren's still oh, kicking Lauren's butt. Yeah, she's looking good too. Oh, Streaming oh, ahead. Oh, oh, easy with it. She's strong. Yeah. Well done, Lauren. Well done. And Lauren setting the pace right the way through the race and bringing home a decisive victory. Well done. Well done, Ali. Tuck yourself in, babe. Tuck yourself in. Yeah. Second is an exhausted Ali. Lisa Shea, third. I did a good job. You did. But I've been having trouble breathing today because I put my shoulder out yesterday. But I think I did OK. Now it's time for the second gun race. Go! Flavia, Chloe and Evelyn go head to head. They've all started out hard. Neck and neck here. I wonder if any of them are going to go through the water. Uh. <gasps> What's happened to Chloe? Oh, God. Flavia is ripping apart the competition. Evelyn's fallen behind. It'll be interesting to see how they negate this hill. Chloe is back in first place, leaving the Brazilian beauty in second. Evelyn's lagging behind. They're about to use some serious combat guns. Oh, here we go, coming in for the guns. Chloe's on the AAA, a fully automatic machine gun with a rate of fire close to 500 rounds per minute. Flavi has made a comeback at the guns table. But Chloe has held on to her lead and eases into first place. <laughs> Evelyn's emptied the magazine on the bullpup. <laughs> Chloe's finished first. Her fitness is superb. She's now a real threat for whoever wants that Jeep. Flavia's <laughs> second, but is it enough to keep her in the competition? 
Evelyn's last in third place. Well done, girls. That's excellent. Good. <laughs> that gun was awesome. As well. I, I was good. like, what? I thought I'm like, oh my god. Lara Croft could not be that. While the girls powder their noses, lick their wounds, and probably talk guns, the judges adjourn to tally the points from both the Jeep race and the gun challenge and muse over the all important Lara bonus points. Chloe's putting in a very good effort and it's coming through through the throat graphs yeah, and definitely. she's, you know, she's doing a great job. She's quick off the mark too. Lisa she's Shea kind of, you know, she was really keen. She really wanted to get in there. No. She's very pretty. She looks good. Oh, that's oh, good. That's a, that's great, a shot. great shot. Lauren's just Lauren. loving it. Just, uh, just squint yeah, it she up. She plays the part She really knows well. how to hold the gun. Lauren's definitely got that Lara sort of appeal, you know? Look at her muscles rippling here. I know. That's She's a great shot. Definitely works out. Definitely, it works for her. Definitely. She always seems to, like, pull off these poses, which are really That's a Lara. And, um, yeah, she does it really well. Definitely. Flavia's very, uh, <laughs> very driven as well, don't you think? Yeah. She's action-packed, that chick. OK, girls, decision's made. Yep, yep. definitely. Happy. Got We're happy with that. Three? Absolutely. Yeah. We've got the Laras. All right. Let's go tell them. Let's go. Firstly, congratulations, girls, for getting into the top six. You've all done fantastic. Another rigorous day. Did you enjoy yourselves? Yes. Yeah, you all did really well. But unfortunately, only three of you will be going through to the final round. So let's kick it off. Ali, your determination's there. You're awesome. You look great. You photographed really well today with the gun. You look like the Terminator in one of them. It's an awesome shot. But unfortunately, you lost your race and you lost the four-wheel drive race as well. So you won't be going through to the final round. You can get yourself a front row seat in the Jeep. Lisa Shea, you photographed really well. You looked the package, but unfortunately you lost your race. Your trigger finger just let you down. And uh, you won't be going through to the final round. Get yourself a seat in the car. Evelyn, you're a fantastic contestant. You're almost the package. You're cheeky, you're sassy, you're fun. But um, you won't be going through. Get yourself a seat in the car. Well done, though, for coming as far. Yeah, well Thanks done. a lot. Well done to the three girls. As for the rest of you, you've got one more challenge ahead. It's going to be big. It's going to be fun. Dun, dun, dun. It's down to the last three. Yeah. Turn around and have a look at the Jeep. That's what you'll be playing for, as well as the photo shoot with FHM. So go and have a long, hard think about that, girls. All right? Good luck, Good luck. girls. Lauren is still in the lead after dominating the gun race, taking her score to 31. But Crazy Chloe's right behind on 27, and Brazilian beauty Flavia is still in the challenge at 25. Uh, it's a little disappointing, but um, that happens, so I'm really excited for the rest of the girls and very proud to have made it this far, so good luck to them and I wish them all the best. Hi. I don't know if I look like the Terminator. I didn't think I was that buff. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was on the losing team. What can you do? It's one go. That's it. <laughs> plenty of points still to play for. Who'll come out on top in the final breathtaking challenge? Who's got what it takes to match it with Lara Croft? FHM Lara Croft Challenge is now in the final round. Injury, exhaustion and pain have seen seven girls leave the competition. Three girls are left, but only one will be the winner. Congratulations, girls. You're in the final round. Now, we save the biggest mental and physical challenge till last. You can see this pond, you see this cliff face. Remember this. If you win today... You go home with a Jeep, a brand new Jeep, and a photo shoot with FHM. If you don't, you go home with nothing, OK? So here's the challenge. Get into the pond here. <laughs> That's the first bit. Oh, it's cold. Start swimming out to that rock behind me. You go around that rock and swim parallel to the cliff face until you get to the end of the cliff. You climb up that cliff all the way up. See that second tree up there? You get up there and you launch off. All right, girls. May the best Lara win. Go for <laughs> it. <laughs> This is a mountain lake, so that water is freezing. That could cramp the muscles right up. 
The course is over 100 metres long with a rock climb and cliff dive. Nothing in the race at these early stages. Chloe's caught up on that rock. Very different swimming styles, but there is no gap between our front runners. What's happening there? Flavi is fighting her way past Lauren to get to the rock. <laughs> Lauren's made a break for it, but the cliff will test her. Remember, they're racing across those sharp rocks barefoot. Come on, girls. Keep going, keep going. Come on. She's at the end of this. Remember, the cliff is 13 metres high. That means she'll be hitting the water at close to 80 kilometres per hour. What's gone wrong here? Lauren's hurt. Flavia close behind. <laughs> Chloe's tried for a shortcut by going over that rock, but it's cost her time and put her in third place. But she's keeping up with the style points. And Lauren has defied all fatigue and injury to finish the final challenge in first place. <laughs> Right, babe? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> she's winded after that five-story leap, but she's going to be okay. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. Well done, Chloe. Good, right. Just my feelings, like... <laughs> right in there. <laughs> Competing really well, me and Flavs. Had a constantly in my eye and just was a bit of, like, <laughs> pushing and pulling each other and we found our way up and then I tried not to look down and I just jumped and... <laughs> I think maybe I opened my legs a bit, but it, it hurt a little bit, so a lot, actually. Awesome. Great. Like, can I do it again? <laughs> I was stuck behind the other girls on the rock and I couldn't turn around, so I tried to climb up it. <laughs> Didn't happen. <laughs> I don't think I probably have done enough to win the competition, but I completed every challenge well, so I don't care. I made it to the top three and that's all that matters. In the beginning, there were ten gutsy girls. A cruisy glamour shoot to look like Lara Croft was the first challenge. But pretty soon, things got a hell of a lot harder when a gruelling and at times painful ropes challenge saw Lisa Marie, Claudia, Anya and Tammy eliminated. Next was the adrenaline rush of the Jeep challenge, followed by the heart-pumping gun race where Ali, Lisa Marie and Evelyn were sent packing. In the end, Chloe, Lauren and Flavia survived. Chloe, wild, crazy and unpredictable, risking it all with a smile on her face, but this pocket rocket had the fitness to push every challenge to the limit. Flavia, cool under pressure, tough with a gun and always looking the part, an easy leader in the Lara bonus points. Lauren, fit, aggressive and toned. But a loss in the Jeep race might mean she snatches defeat from the jaws of victory. Which one of these girls will be crowned the winner of the FHM Lara Croft Challenge? While Lauren won the final challenge, the crown can only go to the girl whose Lara bonus points and total accumulated score is the highest. Can I do it again? <laughs> Alright girls, well we had to find a winner. Flavia, you were fantastic. Your Lara style was out of this world. Chloe. You blew us away with your tenacity. You're a competitor. Fantastic work. And your, your Lara style was great. And uh, and also you really you used your brain. Lauren, you're superb. You are absolutely brilliant in everything. And on 36 points, a clear winner. Lauren, you are Lara. You are Lara. Beauty, brains and brawn. Congratulations. You're fantastic. Well done. The FHM Lara Croft Challenge winner. Keys are in the car. Get in and get driving. You've got an FHM Challenge.
Lauren nailed first place in the final competition, winning five points and taking her score to a triumphant 36. Chloe was second on 29 and Flavia third at 28. The competition for me summed up would be just the most amazing experience. It's, I've made friends forever, hopefully we can all go and do some adventurous stuff. So I'm just happy. It was an awesome experience. <laughs> My verdict on Lauren, she deserves it. She won everything and she was at the top. Stamina, strength, beauty, brains. The whole competition, I think, was very challenging and a life experience that I'll take with me and hopefully some exposure and opening some doors for me. As well as the Jeep Wrangler, Lauren finally got a chance to get cleaned up so she can bask in the glow of victory at her first FHM fashion shoot. See? It was all worth it in the end. Nice work, Lauren. Lara Croft legend. Yeah, I've done photo shoots before, but not really sexy, sultry. That's good. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Very Tomb Raider style. Yeah. Mm. It's great to be getting pampered after shooting guns and jumping off cliffs and hurting myself. <laughs> I am feeling the Lara Croft vibe. Yes, it's coming along. I think I'll get into the mood more when I'm in the actual room. I guess it's like one of those, those spiders that kills its mate after sex. It's that, that feeling because that's sort of what the Lara character is. It's like a huge temptation, but absolutely dangerous. The Lara Croft journey has been fantastic. You know, do all the high risk taking adventures like forward driving, machine gun shooting and jumping off cliffs about 10 metres high and um, high ropes course. It was fantastic. And now living the life in this beautiful house and, and doing photos in here. So, yeah, I think I've lived the life of Lara Croft pretty well. <laughs>